Are you curious about the evolution of Swift? Here's a really cool visualization. It's a video on Vimeo that starts uh, in July 2010 with Chris Latner creating the very first bits. And it looks like this is uh, kind of a visualization of the commits. Other people coming on the team, making commits to different pieces. You can see uh, what they're working on. Really good visualization. This is really cool. I don't know how they did this, but is that your sense of this, uh, Renee? Is this is the commits to this to the CVS? I mean, that's or? what it looked like. It went from like one person knowing it to five people knowing yeah. it to the entire yeah. You know, and you can see they're it. working on different branches of it. I don't know what tool they use to do this. If it's an automated tool, I want it because I'd love to run this on a lot of different open source projects and so forth. It'd be fun and to see this, the evolution of Linux, for instance. On this topic, John Gruber scored a thirty-minute interview with Craig Federighi on the talk show last night. Nice. So you can listen to Craig talking uh, deeper than he did on the t on, on the text interviews. Great. It was really interesting. And then John Syracuse finishes off the show by analyzing everything Craig said. <laughs> <laughs> did we, we mentioned that Swift is open source now. In fact, there's a Linux implementation. Yeah, because I showed the the IBM yeah. uh, 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 workshop. And apparently, the mailing, according like to the mailing list and everything that's happening on GitHub, it is open source in the best sense of the word. It Not just like here's, here's yeah. the open source stuff. Dump. Go. No. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. They've done the right thing. Good. Well, I'll have to listen to a Gruber's interview with uh, Craig Federighi. And meanwhile, I'm mesmerized. <laughs> we were up to 2013 now. It still hasn't been announced. This is all still behind the scenes. Top secret. But uh, more people are working on it, and branches are expanding. Um, Anybody looking at this want to say, oh, cool, this is Linux. I know this is Linux. I know this. <laughs> I'm just worried about Star Wars spoilers as I watch this. Well, it's written in the, uh, you know, you see uh, Objective-C headers. You see uh, C++ headers, it looks like. You see, uh, isn't that what CPP is? Um, it's interesting. I don't know why. Is, is CPP Objective-C or C++? Mm -hmm. I don't know what that uh, what that is. Um, text, you see REST files, map files. There's some Python, some shell, some CSS in there. They're using CMake. Vim. <laughs> this is great. This is fun to watch. <laughs> this, is, this is my idea of a first-person shooter, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it looks like that Steve Gibson video game for people who can't see it in the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ever wondered how development, uh, iterative development uh, works uh, in open source projects? Wow, this is really cool. So the little people are moving. Sometimes they move from, from branch to branch, start working on something else. Wow. So it's implemented in C++. Who'd have thunk it? It's Cerebro. I, did, I wouldn't have thought that. I would have thought it would be C, uh, C Objective-C. Huh. I think the compiler team has always worked in... C++? Least, the, yeah, C++. Interesting. Hmm. That makes sense, actually. That's kind of the power tool for... Although they say that you know Swift is designed to, to write everything from operating systems to high-level scripts, and maybe one day that'll, right. that'll change. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to, it's, it's mesmerizing. Hypnotic, isn't it? <laughs> I can't stop watching. It's uh, it's fascinating. Uh, okay. If this, if this if this were a game pick of the week, I would probably spend two ninety nine. This try it would out. be such an awesome game. It's like a, it's like a simulator. You have to move Latner to this node if you want to yeah. make sure that this doesn't. Oh happen. my god. Oh yeah. It's we're losing. We're They're losing. gonna get rid of plus plus and go straight to plus. Move Chris over here. <laughs> oh no, you forked it. Oh no, overload, overloading. Move it over here. And I get, you know, if you slow it down, you could probably read a little bit more about what, what, what they're actually doing here. Can go back and do this with WebKit. Yeah. Neat. Objective-C files are .m for some reason. Probably goes has something to do with the next. It was uh, probably Avi's, uh, Avi's uh, BMW license plate or something. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now that it's illegible, I can move on. <laughs> People are doing things. Things the same are, fractal pattern as things are happening. Yeah, it's it is it's so. Anyway, this is uh, iOS Dev Weekly had the uh, the article and probably explains how they generated this um, uh, open source Swift Swift program. It's in here somewhere. 